Hello guys and welcome back to another M Creator tutorial. Today what we're going to be looking at is a energy item device that will let us basically test the variables for the different types of variable energy blocks for energy and capacity as well as our different types of plugs. I've also left a little bit of room so we can basically expand this in the future if we need to and um, that will be uh, probably in the future, but at the moment, uh, if you right click on the in, in, anywhere in the air, it will change the item to a different mode. So if we hover over this item, it says mode plugs, and then it basically tests the um, used to test variable energy devices. So that's basically just an information text below that. The mode is plugs. So if we change it back, then you're going to see the mode is on energy and it's basically says the same text below. So if we right click on any one of these blocks, uh, it will give us the information we need about that energy. So obviously the one down here isn't working. I actually fixed this in a, another video. Um, I think, I'm not sure if I updated the workspace or not, but I'll see if I can't uh, cover that in the future. But if it's not fixed, yeah, it's not fixed in this one. So we'll be doing an update video on the junction blocks because I did do some major improvements in one of my mods that use this same system. So uh, it's definitely continue think about subscribing to get notified for that. So when we right click on it, it tells us the energy capacity on the right hand side and the energy that's stored on the left hand side. So this block's not getting any energy that will be fixed again. If we right click on that, we can see it's full and same for this one. So if we right click in the air, uh, we can then test for the plugs as you can see here. Our plugs are, we have our default plugs right here, which are basically the main blocks or main plugs that all our blocks have. So we have north, east, south, west, up and down, and then it tells us what our input and output is. And then what we have is our junction blocks, which are these ones right here. These are static input and output uh, values, and it basically lets us know um, what junction, if we right click on a junction, then it lets us know about that. If we right click just on the a device that doesn't have junction uh, variables, then it just will let us know the information that is required. So in our case, our northeast, southwest ones. So let's hop into MCrater and I'll show you basically what I've done. It's not too complicated. I've tried to make it a little bit simple. So if we go over here, I have two items. I have the general static device one that we have here. And as you can see here, I've basically filled out the information for the mode for here and separated it by a comma and then put our text for what the use is below that. Uh, if we go to properties, I have it just so the max stack size is one. It's uncommon. You can change pretty much any of these other settings as you want. Uh, it doesn't have an inventory, so we I didn't link that. And the only other procedure is basically running when that right clicked on air. So when we're right clicking on the air, all we're doing is switching to the next mode for the item. And in that case, it is the energy setting device zero, which is the other item. So that's all that's going on here. And then there's the other one, which is the energy device or energy setting device zero and exact same settings. We're just basically changing the name of the, the mode and uh, the one other thing that we're not doing is basically having it under creative tab. So that's basically disabled. And then what we have is no inventory and we have another procedure, which is when right clicked on block or right clicked on air. So this one is a different procedure, but this one cycles back to either the next stage or the one that 
basically just came from. In our case, we only have two items, so we can just cycle it to the, the first stage before this one. So in our case, it would be the default item. All right, so that's basically what's going on there. And then I've made some changes to the solar panels, the junction, and the cable. So if we go into those blocks, I'll just be covering the changes. So under the triggers, I've basically set up a on block right clicked, and then I've set up a procedure for each one of these devices. And then I've basically set up a condition where we're testing for the item that we basically just created and we're going to test if it's in the main hand and if it's the a specific type of item so in our case this is the default one and then what we're going to do is we're going to test for the energy for this particular block and basically the exact same thing that we're using for before in the um, message script that I made a while back basically the same thing it's just it's more structured into the mod now and then with this other one, I've basically just displayed the information that's required for this block. In our case, this is just the cable. So we don't actually need to display the junction cables or anything like that. So it's just the basic uh, plug cables. And same thing for your solar panel. If we go into triggers, right click event, same pretty much basically the exact same procedure it's just specific for the solar panel itself and the only difference is i'm using that same procedure for all the other solar panels as well so they're all linked to the right click on right click event And the last one is the junction block, which if we go over here, go to triggers, and then right click on that, as you can see, whoop, as you can see, it's basically the exact same thing. We're just testing for the energy, but we're also testing for the junction blocks down below. So we can basically specify more information based on the block in this way, rather than having it all displayed when we're right clicking on a block when sneaking or something like that um, like we were doing before so we're now using an item to do it rather than have to have it displayed every time we're sneaking so it's a little bit nicer it's neater and everything like that um, hopefully you guys found today's tutorial useful if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe the link will be in the description for this latest update and stay tuned for the next video, which we will be covering some changes that I've made to the junction block. Thanks for watching. Peace out.